Hello everybody, welcome back to yet another War Thunder dev blog. Don't worry, we'll be going back to gameplay soon enough. It's probably not that far away until the actual update comes. But here it is, the Alpha Jet double dev blog for the both the A and the E variants. These are what the Alpha Strike update is being named after. It's a cool plane, but it's a bit of a weird choice to, you know, focus an update around. Because this, for all intents and purposes, is just a simply an advanced jet trainer light attack plane so it's a bit of an odd choice the long-awaited franco-german strike aircraft will soon be available for you to hone your skills on in war thunder when it arrives in the alpha strike major update today we'll be introducing you to this famous european workhorse that has trained generations of pilots i'm surprised they didn't add stuff like the bae hawk at the same time because that would make it more well it'd make more sense wouldn't it and the L-39 Albatross as well. So, features, maneuverable exclamation mark, <laughs> good low speed handling, small silhouette, but no guided munitions, so, ooh, this is uh, probably going to be the new bastard at around 9.0 then, probably. Um, that's a lot of history. Uh, so this is the German one, pointy nose, and this is the French one, droopy nose. Coming in two distinct variants, the Alpha Jet will introduce new capabilities to the French, which is the E variant, and the German, which is the A variant. Air trees in the major update, uh, a versatile platform with reliable flight characteristics and a dual pilot arrangement, which doesn't affect gameplay at all, but this small sized attack aircraft will be a valuable addition to your ground forces lineups. Yeah, I wouldn't really bother taking this into air, to be honest. The Alpha Jet is a twin-engine aircraft arrangement powered by two Snecma Turbo Mecha Larzac engines, enabling this jet to reach top speeds of just about 1,000 kilometers an hour, which is not anything to get excited about. Swept wings incorporate a design that allows for excellent low and high speed handling, being a forgiving training aircraft, but also a deadly precise subsonic attack aircraft. I have no doubt that we'll get all sorts of funky camos, almost certainly the Patouille de France uh, air display team. I'm not sure which of the two they use because I swear they have a pointier nose than that, but I swear it's less pointy than that, so I don't know. Interesting fun fact, Alpha Jets are not just used for military purposes, they are also utilised as a popular display act by the distinguished, distinctive French Air Force display team, the aforementioned Patouille de France which is actually a military organization, but okay, nice one. Uh, and they're also used by Flying Bulls, uh, the Red Bull display team as well. The gun pods are often con converted to smoke generators and colored dye added to get that distinctive display smoke, just like you can use in War Thunder 2. Those of you who are already familiar with the SK-60 and the Saab 105 family of aircraft will already feel at home with this aircraft. The high wing of the Alpha Jet means that, despite small size, it can still carry an array of weapons with some distinct specifics between each variant. Both offer a range of bombs, including 250 and 500 kilo bombs, I assume that's the maximum, as well as rockets and, with the help of CCIP and CCRP, aiding in the delivery of payloads to ensure that they find their mark. So, we have some more screenshots here. I, are those fuel tanks? Maybe. Or gun pods? I don't know. Uh, they looked a bit like fuel tanks, to be honest, which is cool. I think we should have more drop tanks available in-game. What are some of the core differences? Firstly, the offensive armament is the first major difference. The German A model, sporting 150 rounds in a 27mm Mauser cannon, which I believe is the same as what you find on some of the later Harriers, uh, and the Tornado. And the French E model, mounting a 30mm Defer, which if you play France at this tier, or just jets in general, Basically, all the French jets have 30mm defers, which are alright. To make it easier to line up your shots, both guns are mounted on the centre line of the aircraft. Secondly, the E model can also mount additional 30mm defer cannon pods on the wings, so that's what those are. Not fuel tanks, uh, sadly. Something the A model can't do. And lastly, the A model can carry 60 countermeasures as well as the ro more rocket pods both of which the E-Model lacks. So they are better at each other uh, in certain ways, but also worse than each other in certain ways. So that's nice. It doesn't mean one's just flat out better than the other. Two variants of the legendary Alpha Strike. Alpha Strike? Alpha Jet Strike aircraft will soon be entering the in the 
in the game in the War Thunder major update Alpha Strike. Take your opponents back to school and boost your ground forces lineups with some cast support from the small but deadly aircraft. Until the next one, stay tuned to the news for more of what's to come. And some uh, premiums if you have any or don't have any self-respect to spend all your money on. Yeah, um, nice addition. Viva la France, as I'm sure you'll agree. Uh, yeah, they're, they're good additions to the game, obviously. Unfortunately, this is kind of the highlight of the update, and I don't really know what that says about the update if the highlight of the update is some rinky-dink jet trainer. It's just kind of random, you know? It would make more sense to have more planes like this added at the same time, like the BA Hawk and even the Iskra, if that was given a weaponized version, or the L-39 Albatross, which would make more sense to be paired along with this lot. So, there you go. But that was the AlphaJet dev blog. Let me know down in the comments below what you guys think of this. The update is coming ever closer, so luckily we should be able to go back to our usual schedule of doing gameplay. So that should be fun. And of course, comment down below what you think of the AlphaJet. Check out the other videos on the channel and uh, subscribe for more. And I'll catch you in the next one.